Today's Tales is the Raven Company there in Bramming. So we made it after a long and arduous trip across most of these lands. You know, all the way for down from Dawnland. We had a few troubles here and there, but we've made it. And uh, it looks like Bramming is having some issues here. They are. Well, they've got some trade issues. I don't know why. They should probably hire some quality guards, you know. Hire us. We've got a two skull here, so they're probably going to hire us. Edwold of Bramming. Ed oh, Edwold, you do not look happy, my friend. Hmm, and you're drinking. Well, you should probably relax on that. 16.90, eh? Can you pay me more? 18.30. We'll take this. What are we doing? Brigands. Off a rotten hut. My God, do they not? Whoa. Oh, God. I thought I uh, dumped it for a second there. Uh, we'll pick this up. Rotten hut. Do these guys not live in, you know, nice places? I, if I was a brigand, I'd, I'd have my little tree hut or something. You know, I wouldn't live in a rotten hut. How crummy does that sound? Join my gang. Join the crew. We've got a rotting hut for you to live in. Yes, sir. That sounds brilliant. Just what I wanted. A rotting hut when I could live in Langholes. I mean, yeah, brigands, they've been probably driven out of their homes and they've got nothing else to do but rob people. But honestly, a rotten hut is not what I would uh, imagine being one of the nicer places to live. Actually, there's a... What are you guys living in? You guys living in a rotten hut as well? A abandoned, collapsed roof? Probably got to live in the damn derelict crypt at this rate. What do you guys got? You got a collapsed roof as well? Well, at least you've got a leader, so... Hopefully he's well equipped, because uh, you guys are going to need some decent equipment. Now, hopefully this man has been equipping you with helmets. Looks good so far, except for you, my friend. Looks good so far. Actually, you guys have got some decent bows. Uh, we've got some... Well, actually, I lied. I thought it was good till I saw a couple of the two-handed weapon guys. This guy, apparently, they didn't give him the... Uh, they didn't give him the hookup deal of a helmet. They were like, join the crew, but you can only bring your farming equipment and we might give you... It wouldn't be bad getting given that padded leather. I mean, the stuff wouldn't have been cheap in those days, right? I mean, we're a mercenary company. We do this as a profession. And at the start of the game, it was a struggle to get that kind of armor. So I suppose for just a random farmer, it's not bad. This guy got a bit gypped on his uh, his shielding, though. And what do we got here? Hmm. Ragnar! Nah, Ragnar, you're not going to be doing so well here. We'll probably just engage all three of these guys. Right here. This guy's got the high ground, but at least I can swing around. Get all three of them. Uh, this man here, he's... Uh, let's see, you go there, you go there. He's about to have a really bad day, I think. Oof. That, that's got to hurt, right? Imagine that axe splitting your nose, taking half your health off. Uh, we're definitely going to get some archers here. I do not particularly want these marksmen just raining down whatever they're going to rain on me. Probably very bad stuff. We're going to hit this man on the noggin. He's not feeling so good. Well, yeah, she's still smiling. So maybe he does feel good. Uh, I would actually like to get this guy here, but I don't think we can. We're going to work on Mr. Mace here, probably. We'll ignore Mr. Axe. In fact, we won't ignore Mr. Axe. Get a big old bolt to your chest. How's that feel? Not good, not good. Can we stun you? Oh, apparently we're done already. Uh, let's just kill you, maybe. Oh, so close. So close, your face is about to fall off. Alright. I can respect that. Can we stun you? I don't particularly want to take a hit from that mace. Can we kill you? That would be great. Nice shot there, buddy. Let's just fire into probably a bit of this mess. Maybe. Nope, not going to happen. And Mr. Mr. Crossbow out in the middle of the region. He's going to take one to the chest. He's just quietly... Oh, he's giving some change back, though. All right, I'll take some damage there. Baltimore's... Okay, he's... Don't panic, Baltimore. Do not panic, lad. This is easy stuff for you, buddy. Easy. Look at this guy. He's just all sorts of... Hey. You already gave... Hey. You already... Ay, ay, ay. They're just... Baltimore. Do you not have, like, a decent set of skills here? You know? 
The skills that enable you to maybe not get smashed in the face all the time. Meanwhile, Ferdinand. I I just don't even know what to say to you, Ferdinand. Oh, that's three. Oh, I was about to say, oh, you got stunned as well. Ferdinand's like, boys, I am out of here. We're going to go on these three. Uh, wow, we bloody two of them at least. This man needs to be gone. You, sir, need to start getting a bit abused. Can we just... That rock is saving you. I don't even know how that rock is saving you, but apparently it is. Uh, I guess we move in here, slot around into this guy, and then we can not slot around into that man. We'll probably just put one over here then. Ooh, to the gut, my friend. To the gut. Uh, you, sir, can you just die? Thank you. And then you. Just get bashed on the head. Uh, I kind of want to kill you, but Baltimore should help there. So we'll move around on this side here. I might have to help out Tatamelon here. I have a feeling he is about to collapse like a twig. We have a shot in here. Um, where are you going to go? Damn that. Damn that rock! Stead Hartwick's just going to blast a guy in the face. That rock is really annoying. Uh, can we just kill you? Alright. Freeze up a bit of space here. Apparently these guys are just going to break like twigs. Uh, let's grab a hold of you. Because I don't particularly want to get shot at anymore. Uh, we can fire on you. It's not great though. We can fire at you. It's not great either. Let's just take the 10. Because we will hit someone anyway. We'll fire at you as well. Oof. That was... I love how they just try to hit things right. And they just they just hit anything and everything. Uh, we probably need someone to grab a hold of you. So that you do not flee from me. Can we go here and fire on you? You're going to flee. And then this man can get a hold of you. So that you do not run away. Oh, apparently we're going to hit that shield. Oh, Baltimore still taking hits to the face. Baltimore just ease. Actually, this is more of the concern here. Oh, Tatamelon here. He's still duking it out. This guy could crush down some of our armor. Yeah, don't be crushing my armor. I am in no way happy about that. We'll grab a hold of these two. You, sir, can probably just kill both of these guys. And maybe this man. A threefer. Oh, baby. A triple. Wow. We are hammering things down. So this is all pretty much dead. Let's get down and help out old Tatamelon before he loses his marbles and tries to run. Uh, you, sir, go here. I think we'll just kill this man with an axe. Actually, you know what? The standard bearer hasn't been out for a bit. We'll give him a jab to the chest. Uh, what do we got here? 17 and 24. How about you just repost? Might not do you so much good, but try your best at least to stay alive. Can we stun you? Ugh, that shield. Just out of my way, lad. I've got important business to do here. That does not include you. How about we get... Let's pull out our axe first before we move, because we will lose our turn here. You move. Do you want to just get in behind all this? Um, and... How about you just do nothing there? Same with probably you. You just get in amongst all this so we can remove some shields. Woof. See you later. Yeah, that's right, buddy. You want to hit me? I hit you. Come on. Have a go. There you go. Well done. All right, let's pop this man on the head so that he has no head left. Oh, crushed like an idiot. Get crushed. Do not crush my armor, though. Woof. Close. Close, but no cigar. How about we get rid of that? Because that is really starting to get on my nerve. You, sir. How about you? Well, we got to hit this man. 40. Well, we're not doing that. We are going to remove that, though. And we are start going to beat on some people here. Beat them down. Because they are starting to just annoy me. An annoyance. We'll get in and 30. He can feel a little bit better about his life. Can we beat you a bit from behind? We'll move in. Just have a swing. Oh, another shield hit, eh? Who's kind of dying here? You? Whoop, one, two. How are you feeling, buddy? You seem to be bleeding. 
Seems to be a little bit of a mess. How about we just shoot you then? Didn't really need to shoot you, but uh, kind of angered me, so we'll do it. Damn, we still not got a great chance. Can we stun you? 50-50, finally. Oh, we broke your ankle and your elbow. And uh, you're pretty much... Oh my, Ferdy. Do not be taking that crap. Do not let that man hit you. You're a strong, independent Ferdinand. Don't be taking his garbage. See, this is how you do it, Ferdy. That's how you do it. You get it. In fact, Ferdy, you hold your turn. Uh, everybody hold your turn for a sec. Ferdy, he's going to exert his dominance here. He's had enough of taking all of this junk here. Come on, Ferdy. Oh, you hit him in the head. What an idiot. What an idiot, Ferdy. You just had to hit him in the clear gaping chest that he had. And you just changed your mind. You're like, nope, I'm clearly going to hit him in the head, which has taken no damage. Well done, boy. Well done. I mean, you do have a quite a high chance to hit things in the head, but you didn't really need to. Sometimes I feel like you should be able to be like, yo, I don't want to hit him in the head. Just can we up the chance to hit him in the big old chest that has no armor on it? Just for... Just for... Ooh, what's that? Wow, that's some cold orcs. What are they doing? Just hanging out in their little world tree stump. They're like, this is my cave. Ain't nobody coming to my cave. Nobody. Well, we'll leave your cave alone for a sec. Because we want to get... Come on, Bramming. Come on. You can do it. Oh, that's all our junk. Uh, Come on, Bramming. <laughs> Have some more junk. All right, Bramming. Look at this. Just going to sell it all in. We don't even care about how much money we make anymore. I mean, we've got 60k. It... Uh, probably, let's get rid of, oh, no, I didn't want to sell a black shield, oh well. Oh, well, because we could have had this uh, cool Templar one here, actually. Uh, we'll probably sell that one, though. And then everybody could kind of rock a Templar thing. It's kind of hard to get armor that all looks the same. I mean, you are a ragtag bunch of uh, crazy people here. And when I say crazy, crazy people, I mean Hartwig. He's a lunatic. He's a, he's a madman. But uh, how are we doing? Everyone, I always find it funny. I mean, you've, you've just won a battle. You pretty much massacred the enemy. You took no damage in return. You're like, mm, yeah. I mean, I'm kind of eager, but then I'm not really. I'm just in good spirits. And then over here is like, well, I'm okay. You're not okay, my friend. You're a Debbie Downer. That is exactly Man, We sold a lot of stuff into this place. I think this place had about this much stuff and then we just came along and pretty much filled the shelves with gear that's probably better than what they've ever seen before and they are well they're getting marauded marauded but we don't care because we are off to have a drink Weedlekin is now drunk hmm what do we got here furs we don't care about uh roasted goat wow that sounds great uh we still don't care about those furs Hmm. Don't drink the water in Wolfenstein. That is always a handy tip, right? Do not drink the water in Wolfenstein. All right, we're going to take a break. Tune in next time. More Adventure of the Raven Company. Hey, guys. Thanks again for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that subscribe button or leave me a comment on anything you want to see in the future.